This is the video solution to the elastic collision example problem. So in the example problem, it starts off with a before situation, where we've got two cars going head on into each other, one at 2 meters per second, one at 5 meters per second, and they have different masses as shown. They collide, that's the doink, and then after the collision, they've separated, so they still become two objects. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to state that I'm using a law of conservation momentum, but I'm going to do that mathematically. So I'm going to show this. Sigma, lowercase p, subscript before. So lowercase p, because that's the symbol for momentum, not uppercase, but lowercase, equals sigma p and then subscript after, meaning after the collision. And then I'll set that up. I have four objects on the screen, ignoring what happens in the middle. I have two before and two afterwards, and each object is going to have its own momentum, in other words, its own mv equation. So I know in the next line, next line I should have four momentums because I have four objects on the screen, or in concept. So mass of the red, velocity of the red, plus mass of the yellow, velocity of the red, uh, velocity of the yellow, that's two momentums. And then after the collision, mass of the red, velocity of the red, plus mass of the yellow, velocity of the yellow. And that's, again, two objects, so a total of four. Then I'll start pull, pulling in the numbers. So 1,000 kilograms times 2 meters per second, plus, and then I'll pull the next one for the yellow car, 1,500 milligram, or 1,500 kilograms times a negative 5 meters per second. And the reason why this is negative is because if I look at the direction of the yellow car, it's going in the opposite direction of the red car. And the negative sign means opposite direction. So in this case, that's the left. That's going to equal the stuff after the collision. So after the collision, I have the 1,000 kilogram car times its unknown velocity plus 1,500 kilogram car times its velocity 1 meters per second. But that yellow car after the collision is traveling in the opposite direction of the red, so it's a negative sign. In other words, it's going to the left because the red's going to the right. Opposite direction, negative, one meter per second. Now, there's a little math trick I can do. I see I've got basically three zeros everywhere, uh, except the 1500. Uh, okay, so I can divide everything by a thousand. A thousand times divided by the first, a thousand by the second, a thousand third, and a thousand by the fourth expression. So that gives me one times two plus. 1,500 divided by 1,000 is 1 and a half, and that's times 5. And I pulled the negative sign out in front of everything. And that's going to equal 1,000 divided by 1,000 is equal to 1 times V prime A. And that's uh, minus 1.5, because 1,500 divided by 1,000 is 1 and a half times 1. Now a little bit of math, and then I get that V A prime is equal to negative 4 meters per second. Notice that in the before situation, I wrote the variables without any kind of marks at the top of it, like apostrophes, so that's the prime symbol. But afterwards, I put little prime marks just to indicate that it means something different than what it did in the beginning. That's the only reason for the prime uh, symbol on the, the variables. Now your paper is going to look something like this. So this is what your paper would look like. These are all the steps that I'm expecting to see. So this is what it should be. I'm looking for that summation. That shows me you're conserving momentum to solve it. I'm looking for an expression showing me that you know what momentum is and how many objects there are on the screen, you know, or how many there are in the problem before and after. Then I'm looking for numbers and units, as always. A little bit of math. And then finally, the answer, in this case, 4 meters per second.